Okay guys, Jason with Fat Fender Garage and we have a 1956 Ford F100 pickup behind me, but that's actually not what we're going to talk about. Well, we are. We're going to talk about 1953 to 1956 Ford pickup trucks. Now, we've had a lot of people that come to the shop and call us on the phone and say, hey, what do you have for manual pedals and brakes and all that stuff? Most everything you find out there uh, is an automatic. You got the brake pedal, what are you going to do for that? You know, uh, manual transmission and get that clutch put into it. And so we thought about that a lot and tried to figure out what is the best way to make this work. And we decided to come up with a way here that would make sense for us and then share that information with you. So what we've come up with is we've designed a kit right here that uses the wheel wood pedal assembly, clutch and brake with the reverse mount master cylinders and then we've installed and designed a bracket to hold all of that that can either mount to your firewall or you can actually weld it in if you get this done ahead of time. So pretty cool product. Then this billet piece right here will mount to your firewall. You get these lines that you just drill a little hole with an O-ring and then you'll feed those right like that going the master cylinders. So pretty cool product. Now this works with a 12 inch Dynalite Willwood front setup. So if you've upgraded your chassis or you're putting a Mustang 2 front end on it or if you've done something like that and you got the Dynalite brakes on it and you have at least a 12 inch you can actually get away with using this manual setup. Now there's no booster uh, and you don't need it because you're running a, a perfectly matched setup. So ideally before you order this kit, it's always a good idea just to check with us to make sure what you have will match up. Um, you're not going to have power brakes, but neither do race car guys. And if you get things proportionally matched correctly and you have the right ratio in a pedal, it's just a little bit more leg and it actually stops really super good. And so um, a lot of the stuff we do will have either a 13 or 14 inch as you saw right there and um, so this easily works but it also works really good with a 12 inch wheelwood rotor Dynalite brake pad so if you're changing away from that you're doing something different let it let us know and we can help adjust the master cylinders for the front and back to be the right size bore for you so again 1953 1956 this is the clutch and brake pedal assembly it comes as a complete kit you can't buy just the brackets, you can't buy, it's a complete kit because there's just too much going on in order for you to just say, hey, I'll try to make this work. It really has to come as a kit in order to take as much of the headache out of it for you as possible. So we've tried to actually get this as simple as we can for you and it took some time. I think we've got probably 40, 50 hours of design and engineering and different brackets and trying to come up with the simplest way uh, possible to make this work. We've actually got it going in a truck here at our shop and we've actually used these in the past and they do work pretty well. And so we've been really happy with them. So again, 1953, 1956, F100, two wheel drive, clutch and brake pedal assembly from Wheelwood and Fat Fender Garage, thanks.